Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Comparison is almost a sin, especially when we're comparing what we have with others in a way that is belittling of what we have. In a world of social media, it's become so difficult. Everyone showcases things they don't even have at times. And then people who see it are looking at this perfect image of some perfection that didn't exist because it was either photoshopped or it was just a video shoot for a purpose. And yet we begin to think what I have is nothing. I don't have a spouse like this. I don't have children like this. I don't have a home like this. I don't have holidays like this. I don't have money like this. I'd... A lot of it is material. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, helps us dealing with this difficulty of comparison by telling us that look at those who have less than you in terms of worldly material items. It will help you to appreciate what you have. Live in contentment. The minute you're going to compare with those who have more or those whom you and I presume have more because of the deception of the gram, the deception of social media, then we're going to struggle. So when you look at those who have less than you, what happens? You appreciate, I have a house. Alhamdulillah, these people are living in a hut. Alhamdulillah, we have a road, a tarred road, a narrow one. They have a gravel road, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah, we have water from the tap twice a week. They have to take a bucket and walk five miles before they can fill dirty water from the river into that bucket and bring it back home. But when you look at those who have more than you, even if you have your vehicle, you look at another one, you're not happy. You have your phone, you look at a better one, you're not happy. You have your spouse, you look at another one, you're not happy. It goes far beyond all of that until you lose every point of your happiness. So if you don't know how to use social media, it will cause a lot of stress and even depression because you will feel like you have nothing. You will feel like you've missed out. In fact, people are finding it difficult to get married because it is said that the demands have become so high that those people who can meet those demands are non-existent. So you're looking for someone who is not on earth or very few of them might be on earth. You're looking for someone who can use social media to con the people into believing they have things. Remember this. So therefore, many couples who show themselves online, some are blessed, mashallah. They teach a lot of goodness. Kudos to them and we must congratulate them. But there are so many who are struggling in their relationships, yet online they don't show you that. Many who have divorced, many who have had ugly breakups. Sometimes we get to hear about it and sometimes we don't. It's none of my business, to be honest with you. But the way it was shown, many other people's lives were broken because they were comparing their lives with the life you never lived, but you didn't tell us about all your issues. We didn't know. We saw a hypocritical side that covered up the real life issues and showed people perfection that was non-existence in your own life. So it broke so many homes and now yours is broken. It can happen. It has happened. It does happen. Be careful. My brothers and sisters, not everything that glitters is gold, as they say. Because to be honest with you, when you look at things and you want to compare, only compare with those who have less than you, inshallah, you will never go wrong. Follow that coping mechanism. Dealing with the difficulty of comparison is such that if you follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, guidelines, it won't be difficult at all. And then when you come to piety and God consciousness, taqwa and closeness to Allah, then you compare with those who are above you so that you're encouraged to do more. I prayed all night 
This person prayed all night, every night. I fasted three days a week, should I say three days a month. This person fasted Mondays and, and Thursdays as well. MashaAllah, I read the Quran in one month. This person read it in thrice a month and so on. I've been in the masjid and I come quite early. Well, this person's been first every single Friday. SubhanAllah. I dress appropriately. Well, this person's been in a place worse than where you were and they've come out better than where you are. It should be encouraging. Like I say, Allah knows your struggles. We congratulate you as you walk through the paces and as you build and grow in your closeness to Allah, congrats, because you will be an inspiration to so many others. You will. And when you're an inspiration in piety and God consciousness to others, then congratulations, you get a full reward for those who followed suit. For example, it was not easy for you to wear the hijab. People saw your journey. You showed it to them with the idea of helping them. And as they grew, seeing you grow, you get a reward for that growth of theirs. And nowadays on social media, there could be millions that you don't even know about. So you get a good reward. But when you show your backward movement, some people have done it online. They've very few, but they've done it. They've taken off their hijab and thrown it away and said, that's it. Very few have done it. But why do that online? When you're a believer deep down, it's going to be tough for you to deal with that because if others were inspired by this action, they would be few in number, but it's still one is damage. And if they followed suit after they were on the right path, then you led them astray. And if that was the case, then perhaps if you're a believer like I am, you would believe that you would earn a sin for that. But if you're not a believer at all, then that's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know because people have argued that I don't believe. So what's the point? Well, then we can't, we, we're not addressing you, subhanAllah. So what I'm saying, if you want to set an example, set a good example. If there is a bad thing to be done, at least don't be proud of it. Don't show off something bad. The hadith speaks about people remaining in goodness for as long as they do not commit that which is displeasing to Allah openly and they're not proud of it. Still, you remain in goodness. The minute you're proud of it and you expose it and you're showing it and everyone is excited about the sins they're committing and whatever, as believers, then Allah says, now you've entered red territory because uh, the goodness is void. May Allah Almighty strengthen all of us. Going back to the issue of comparison. So when you compare, remember those two things. Do not compare with people because you're, even if it were true about them, you would lose the contentment you have. You would always be wanting more and you may never get to that level. To be able to adjust your life to exactly what you own and what you have is a gift of Allah. Be happy with it. I have my little home. We eat the same thing every day. And on the weekend, it changes once. People don't have food. People can't eat. People don't have a meal. Subhanallah, we have one meal a day. Well, some people have no meals. Some people eat once every two days. They just drink a bit of liquid and fluids. We have water. We don't have juices and drinks. They don't even have water. Subhanallah. Again, look at our brothers and sisters in Palestine and so many other places on earth. How they are struggling, Allah alone knows. I've always said we as an ummah have failed them. May Allah forgive us for that failure. Nonetheless, if you want to compare, compare your lives with theirs and see how thankful you become and see how small your problems become, if any at all. May Allah Almighty strengthen us. Remember, comparison is almost sinful if you are going to compare in a way that is destructive. So don't ever look at someone else and destroy your life. What you have is a blessing from Allah. Feel it, understand it, appreciate it, be grateful, and see yourself grow. Insha'Allah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad.
Thank mm-hmm. you.